Hi, my name is Alex Iglesia, and I'm going to uh, share with you some interesting ideas around levels of listening from Otto Scharmer's work. Uh, Otto Scharmer's known for his book, uh, Theory U, and his work with presencing. And what I'm always interested in is how do I take an idea, especially an integral idea, and bring to it new levels of embodiment so that I can cultivate those capacities and turn those ideas into something more than just ideas on paper that's nice to discuss, but something that's really useful for my daily life and definitely for the work that I do. So there's four levels of listening. The first level of listening is called listening one from habits. It's about downloading. It's about habits of judgment. It's about reconfirming old opinions and judgments. Now, that's a great idea. And we get the idea. The guiding statement that would step us into the feeling state of that idea would be, what is right or wrong about that? What's right or wrong about that? So imagine having a conversation and you ask yourself, what's right or wrong about this? Just that question will start to point your mind into looking at your own opinions, your own judgments, what's right, what's wrong, and you're not really fully listening, you're really listening to yourself. So the embodiment of that, we wanted to actually feel it to work with it, would look something like this. Where it's really about me. My eyes are down and focused on me. I'm taking in the world, but it's all about landing in me. It's what do I know, it's what do I trust, what do I think is right. There's not a whole lot of outward focus. Now maybe, maybe it starts off and there's a little bit of that outward focus, so it might look something like this. But it'll end up here. So imagine having a conversation from this kind of a place where your body, your mind, is much more interested in what you think. Even though you might be having a conversation. It's a really great exercise to play with that, to practice that, and to get a sense for when you go there. When unconsciously you're asking, what's right or wrong about that? Really wonderful for, for, for facilitators and coaches and business owners to, to be present to that part of ourselves. So, listening number two is from the outside. It's factual listening. It's noticing differences, it's discernment. So we want to have an open mind. The guiding question into listening from the outside or factual listening is, what's actually happening? What's actually happening? Try that. What's actually happening? What's actually happening? That question invites your energy, your experience, to start to notice what's actually happening. It lets go, it just naturally lets go of judgments, of your own opinions. It puts the attention outside of you. What's actually happening? Now the full embodiment of that to really captivate and to cultivate that capacity is this breath, this movement. It starts from the outside. The sound is inhale, ah. And if we were to work together, if we were to, to go a little bit deeper, I would teach you um, the specific sounds and we would go much further with these. But for right now, just go with inhaling ah. Ah is a much more expansive sound. It helps open our mind to being available to what's actually happening. Inhale ah. So imagine having a conversation, a meeting, where you want to be curious. You want to know what's really happening, what's actually going on here. And if you've done the work on your own and you know this internal state, then you can more quickly step into that, turn it on, almost like turning on your own curiosity switch. Which is really great for getting out of your own stuff and into what's actually happening. Now the, le the next level of listening is called listening three, listening from within. It's empathic listening. Listening from an open heart, where you're seeing through another person's eyes and you're making an emotional connection. Great idea. How do you do that? The guiding question is, what are you experiencing? What is that experiencing? What's the experience there? Imagine having a conversation with someone, and you ask yourself, I wonder what they're experiencing. It takes us beyond the level of facts and just an open mind and starts to open our heart. And if we can start to wonder, what are you experiencing? It naturally starts to shift into my emotional center, into emotional intelligence, and it'll start to connect us. 
And so I'll still be able to listen to facts and data and what's happening and start to notice all the moving pieces, but it'll start to connect our, our subjectivity. It starts to bring us into more of a we space. The embodiment of that is to hold listening to while bringing it in, staying attentive to the other. It looks something like this. So I'm holding the first breath. I'm holding the first energy. I'm holding this first state of listening and making room for some space inside. So from this place, feeling me, I'm listening to the other. It's very, very different than our listening one. Listening one, remember, was this. It was a strong, almost contractile, downward-focused, inward-focused experience. And there's not a whole lot of room for the other. It's all about me. But in listening three, empathic listening, we open to the other and also hold ourselves. And this is a really wonderful place for a leader to be. For a leader with a group, or a boss with an employee, or a facilitator with a group, to have empathic listening, to, to be able with every cell to turn on, to activate empathic listening, is a really wonderful skill set. And it goes way beyond just the idea of, let me see this from your point of view. The fourth level of listening is listening from source, or called, as Otto Schormer calls it, generative listening. And in here, we're more interested in the future that wants to emerge. And we want to open our will, let go of our own uh, need to act, our own attachments to doing or doing any certain thing, or making sure a, a particular outcome happens. We want, we want to be more connected to an emerging future whole, and we want to shift in, the, in our own identity. The guiding, so again, great question, right? Great question. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we all had generative listening? <laughs> Imagine having a conversation. You should be a generative listener. Kind of interesting. So the guiding question that helps us step into that is, what's wanting to happen? What's wanting to happen? So we ask that question. Imagine being in a room full of people. And maybe there's some conflict. Maybe there's some heat. Maybe there's a lot of judgment. And you ask yourself, what's really wanting to happen here? And if you're asking that now, just notice what's happening in your body, and you ask, what's wanting to happen? There's a softening, any contraction might lessen, get a little more subtle. And there's, at the same time, a, a, a reaching out, a curiousness, but there's also a, a deep inner sense. It's like the boundaries start to dissolve a bit. For a facilitator, or for a visionary, this kind of listing is really important. Because it's not just about what I think standing here. It's not just about what you think. It's how are you and I and the environment and my future vision and the future vision of you. How is all of that co-creating this moment? And you know what? Just what's wanting to happen. So the question's great. But develop the capacity in your own body and mind to have that internal state where it's okay to be fully generatively listening looks something like this. Instead of starting with a lot of self, like we've done in the last three, we'll start with a lot of, I'm not here. I'm who I am, my needs, my ego, isn't so critical. So we drop the heart, create more of a, like a satellite dish kind of a shape. And here's the movement, and I invite you to practice. And the sound is inhale, all, all has a deeper resonance than ah before. Ah was very, very expensive. All ah is very uh, sensitive and receiving. Inhale, all. Ah. And from this place, if you've ever had a personal issue and spent some time with a really good listener, or it wasn't about them and what they thought about the situation, and they weren't even trying to connect, they were, just being a, they were just being a presence for you. They were just holding space for you. So this kind of listening, where it's all about, for me you now, it's all about the other, starts to generate, starts to pull that person's um, 
greatness out of them. It pulls all the truth, pulls all their authenticity, gives them a space where they can show up and everything is welcome. So it generates. It generates from source. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this little discussion. I'd love to continue the discussion with you. I found this interesting and fascinating. This is what I love to do, and I love helping people get on their mission with greater skills of embodiment. So you can reach me at, uh, by email at alex at iglesia.com or on my line at alexiglesia.com. And I'd love to continue the conversation. So I look forward to hearing from you soon.